Hi everyone, my name is Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and in honor of Mother's Day tomorrow, I wanted to talk about five books that have a trope that I tend to really enjoy and that is the single mom trope. I am a single mother so I think I relate to the single mom trope in books which is why I love it so much and I'm going to talk about five books that I have read somewhat recently, maybe not as recently, that I enjoyed that feature the single mom trope. The first one that I want to talk about is Delilah Green Doesn't Care. This follows Delilah Green and it is a queer romance. It follows Delilah Green who has come home to her small town that she ran away from as soon as she could when she was 18 to live in New York. She has come home to be a photographer for her stepsister Astrid's wedding. She does not want to but her stepmom is willing to pay her a lot of money that she could really use in New York so she has come home. Her first night home, she goes to a bar and meets Claire. Claire is actually Astrid's best friend and is a single mom. Claire is bisexual and had a relationship with Josh that resulted in a child and is now single. Claire and Delilah have tons of chemistry and eventually that does lead to a romance since this is a queer romance. And we also see a lot of Josh who is Claire's ex and we see how their co-parenting has gone on in the past, what is currently going on in their co-parenting and I found that really interesting in this book. I obviously absolutely adored Delilah and Claire's romance. I don't think anyone who has ever read this book does not love Delilah and Claire because how could you not love Delilah and Claire? I still have to continue this series and that really needs to happen fairly soon. Then we have Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake. This is the first book in the Winner Bakes All series by Alexis Hall. Rosalind Palmer is a single mom and her daughter is so precocious. This is again another queer romance and Rosalind Palmer is bisexual. We see Rosalind and her best friend Lauren who they used to actually have a relationship but are now just friends. And we see Rosalind as she enters a baking competition that is very similar to the Great British Bake Off which I love The Great British Bake Off, so a whole romance centered around The Great British Bake Off was amazing. They call it Winter Bakes All, but it's basically The Great British Bake Off. The book is separated into the weeks of the baking competition, so you have like bread week and pastry week. It's, it's great. At this competition, Rosalind meets two men, one that would be someone that her parents would very much approve of. Her parents have kind of always looked down on how Rosalind has chosen to live her life and this man definitely would fit into what they wished for Rosalind. And then there's another man who is more of what I think we're all hoping for Rosalind to have and we see her work through the baking competition, work through her feelings for these men and we see her life outside of the baking competition too, being a mom and with her friends. This was one of my favorite books and I definitely wanna be continuing the series because each series is a new season of Bake Off. Is anything better than that? I don't think so. One of my favorite books that had the single mom trope was The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I gave this five stars, I adore this book. And the second book for this series comes out this month. I have it on pre-order, it's gonna arrive any day. The second book I believe follows her best friend Fizzy, who I loved in the first book, so I have really high hopes for the second. But anyway, this follows Jess and River. Jess is a single mom and is talked into joining a online dating site by her friend Fizzy. This online dating site actually takes your DNA and matches you to a compatibility match based off DNA. When Jess is submitted for this DNA test, the company is still fairly new, but they've decided to submit their DNA. When that happens, she gets matched with the highest compatibility match this website has ever seen. The absolute highest. Come to find out that is with River, who is the founder of this company. The company, like I said, is fairly new and they're still trying to get off the ground so they decide to do a fake dating situation and use it to promote the company. She gets paid, they date, because they don't really like each other when they met earlier in the book. Obviously, we know how fake dating goes. We all know. We all know fake dating 
turns into a romance. That is what this book is. So it has the single mom trope and it also has fake dating. Highly recommend. It is probably my favorite book from Christina Lauren and probably one of my favorite romances of all time. I absolutely love The Soulmate Equation. The next book I want to talk about is the first book in the Sweet Magnolia series by Cheryl Wood and that is Stealing Home. I've only read the first book but over the next few months I'm going to be reading this whole series so look out for that. The first book in the series follows Maddie Townsend. Maddie Townsend has just gone through a really hard divorce. Her husband left her for his nurse and she has three kids that she's trying to get through this divorce with. She also has two best friends and the three of them are called the Sweet Magnolias. And this friendship is one of the best parts of this book. These three women who are looking out for each other, they grew up together and now are looking out for each other as adults. This is a small town romance. Everyone knows everybody's business. And there is a new baseball coach in town. Her son is on the baseball team and there is a brand new coach named Cal. And obviously this is a romance. Maddie is newly single and there is a new hot baseball coach. So you do the math and figure out what happens there. There is a Netflix series based off this series of books. That's actually how I found out about the books. I started watching the Netflix series and then decided to read the books. So if you're interested in one or the other, I highly recommend. Last but certainly not least, I have to talk about my favorite single mom in all of literature and that is Finley Donovan. I can't not talk about single moms and not mention Finley. Finley is the single mom we can all relate to, even though of course it's very exaggerated and none of us have actually had this specific thing happen to us because it's crazy. But Finley is a hot mess and I think anyone who has ever been a parent knows that there are hot mess times in parenting. Parenting is not always glamorous and sometimes it's a hot mess. And Finley is a hot mess. I'm sure you know what Finley Donovan is about because I've talked about it a million times on this channel and everyone's talked about Finley, but we'll, we'll do it again. Finley is a single mom. Her husband has recently divorced her for another woman and she has two very small children, like toddler and baby. They are teeny, teeny, tiny. Two babies. Finley is a romance writer, like an action romance writer. She is meeting with her agent at a Panera Bread because she is very behind on her next book. She pitches the book to her agent kind of on the fly and someone overhears this action romance and assumes she is talking about being a hit woman and hires her to kill her husband. Lots of shenanigans take place from there. So, so many over three books. I adore this series. I love Finley and Vero. Vero is Finley's nanny and best friend and the two of them together are just fantastic. They are both a hot mess and we are here and loving it. Anyway, that is my recommendations for five books with single mother tropes in honor of Mother's Day. If you have books that have the single mom trope that you liked, please put them down in the comments because maybe I haven't read them yet because I am still fairly new into my romance era. So please put them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.